Hello and thank you again for watching my videos. I'm sure most of you already know this, but I always want to point out for the best quality, click on that little cog wheel that says HD and always make sure that the quality is in 1080p HD. A lot of times it'll be in auto, which should automatically put it there, but just in case it isn't, you can obviously scroll up here and click that right there. And that'll give you the best quality of the video that you're watching. Uh, many times if you subscribe and get alert that I've uploaded a video and you watch it, the quality won't be good. It won't be as good yet. It's still in standard definition. Uh, that's because it's still processing. The HD version is still processing. Just wait a few more uh, minutes, hours, and it should upload to HD eventually. Uh, that's pretty much all I have. I think most of you already know this, but like I said, it never hurts to just double check and make sure uh, you're aware of this. And one more little hint that YouTube will give you is you can always play any part of the video in super slow motion or fast forward motion. That's the playback speed. Obviously, I keep it normal right now, but you can, you know, slow down, fast forward any other play or part of the video you want to look at. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get to your video. Again, thank you for subscribing and watching. Good afternoon and welcome to Sacred Heart University on campus at Fairfield, Connecticut, Saturday afternoon, September 23rd, 2023. We have college football. The Sacred Heart Club Football Pioneers will host the Connecticut State Wildcats Junior College. Uh, I don't know what the Pioneers record is, I'll have to update that. The Wildcats are one and two. They just won their first game last week versus Monroe College Mustangs. Uh, I, this game is gonna pick up in the second quarter. I just got here from South Windsor filming a high school varsity football game, the Bridgeport Central Hilltoppers versus South Windsor Bobcats. So this will be in progress, about nine minutes left of the second quarter with the Pioneers leading seven nothing. They had a Interception return for a touchdown, a pick six. So we're gonna resume this game, pick it up in progress rather, with the Pioneers leading seven nothing. If you're watching on YouTube, give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Let's get you out to your game. Okay, just got here where you're in the second quarter and Sacred Heart leads seven nothing.
All right, Connecticut State Wildcats will take over first and 10 inside their own 10 yard line. Right about the nine yard line, it looks like. So this game is in progress when I got here. Sacred Heart leading seven to nothing. Just got here from South Windsor. The South Windsor Bobcats High School varsity football team wins over Bridgeport Central Hilltoppers. 42 to 6. Flag down, foul penalty against the Wildcats. So Sacred Heart either going to decline it and it'll be third down or accept it and replay second down with, with the 10 yard loss. Looks like they'll accept the penalty. Holding on the offense. Half the distance of the goal, second down from their own five yard line. Third down and 14. Double coverage. Looked like he kind of muffed the return, but he got his got it back, so Sacred Heart will take over first and ten in Wildcat territory. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. 
Looks like Lee Ramsey was in there on the tackle. No gain. Face mask on the defense, so that'll push Sacred Heart a lot closer. Looks like they're going to be in the red zone. 16 yard line. Two-yard gain, second down and eight. There's Maz Mula Santana, Washington. Number 24 for the Wildcats. Timeout called by Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart Club football leads 7-0 over Connecticut State Junior College Wildcats. Looks like they're going to go for a 29-yard field goal. This is a 29-yard field goal attempt. It blocked and scooped up. And that would have been a touchdown the other way. That was a touchdown saving tackle by number seven, I believe.
with a big block and Wildcats take over. It's just under three minutes left until halftime. Very close to a first down for the Wildcats. And it, it's going to be a yard short. Two minutes till halftime. Big time hit by number 53. Looks like he may have lost a yard, fourth and two. Timeout called by the Wildcats. Oh, second effort gets him the first down. Nice hard fought run by the quarterback. There's Divine Jackson, head coach, Divine Jackson. He's played a lot of semi-professional football in his career too. Complete, get it just across the 30, you gotta hurry. They may be out of timeouts. 29 yard line. Spikes the ball. Seven seconds left till halftime. Maybe time for one more play. I think they got one timeout left. Oh, nice catch. The time is going to run out. We're going to go to halftime, it looks like. Yep, it is halftime. Oh, Divine is arguing. He wants, a time. he wants one second on the clock. He wants a timeout. With a, he wants at least one more second left. I don't think he's going to win that argument, though. Yeah. 
Nope, it is half time. Head coach Devine Jackson is absolutely not happy. He wanted at least one more second to maybe get a, take a shot at the end zone. He's not going to get it. Okay, as I said earlier, I arrived with about nine minutes and change left in the first half, second quarter. I was at the, I was in South Wid, South Whidbey, South Windsor, uh, South Windsor for the uh, Bridgeport Central Hilltoppers versus South Windsor Bobcats high school football game. I arrived, it was seven nothing, and that's where we stand at halftime. Sacred Heart Club Football Seven. Uh, Pioneers and the Connecticut State Wildcats zero. We'll take a break, show you the graphic, and come back start the second half, third quarter. Uh, the rain is starting to pick up here to start the second half, as you can see. Let's see if the rain will have much of a factor here as we start the second half. Little squib kick. But it's recovered by the hand team of Sacred Heart. They'll take over first and ten. It turned a little something out of nothing. It's uh, second down from the mid, right at midfield, 50 yard line. He picked up enough for the first first down.
one yard gain, second down and nine from the 25 yard line. It's going to be a big tackle for a loss. Two yard loss, it'll be third down and 11. Wind is picking up again. Third down, no, fourth down. It's going to be one of those situations where it's maybe a little bit too far for a field goal and too close to punt, so they're going to possibly go for it here. Complete, but they're gonna. It might be a block, a, a blindside block, or pass interference. I don't know if you heard that personal foul on number 14 of the defense, unnecessary roughness. So instead of a turnover on down, Sacred Heart will take over first and 10 in the red zone. Divine Jackson wants an explanation here. He seems satisfied with it, so here we go. The rain still continues to come down. Drives forward, maybe picks up two yards. Just overthrown. It'll be third down. So Sacred Heart can, can get a first down without getting a touchdown. You got to get it to the two yard line. It's third and eight. It's intercepted. It is picked off. 
in the end zone. He runs it up to about the five yard line, number 18 for the Wildcats. Quarterback keeps and picks up maybe three yards. Forward progress. It'll be second and seven from the eight yard line. about the 10 yard line it'll be third and five Green pass falls incomplete, fourth and five. Nice tackle. My number nineteen. But Sacred Heart takes over in pretty good field position. Inside Wildcat territory. Wrapped up by a host of Wildcats led by Maz Mula Santana Washington, number 24. The veteran football player with, at the semi pro level. Number 30 slips, tackles, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown for Sacred Heart. It's raining out here, and I wonder if that played a factor. He slipped. He slipped through a lot of tackles there on that run. And the Sacred Heart Club football pioneers lead 13 to nothing. Extra points still to follow.
two-point conversion is no good. Sacred Heart with the lead 13 to nothing. A big return for the Wildcats just crossed the 50 into Pioneer territory. Market at the Pioneers 49 yard line. One yard gain, second down and nine from the Pioneers 38 yard line. Nice run by Maz Mula Santana Washington. Try to go to Maz Mula Santana again, and he gets stuffed right at the line. It'll be fourth down and two. Yeah. 
Drive forward should be enough for a first down. New set of downs and the Wildcats keep the drive alive. Throws it away. That's Maz Mula Santana Washington again. He lost the ball. And Sacred Heart recovers it. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. Sacred Heart Club Football Pioneers 13, Connecticut State Wildcats Junior College 0. We'll take a break, show you the graphic, and come back and start the fourth quarter.
Well, Sacred Heart's going for it on fourth down. Fourth and about seven. That might be close. I think it's going to be a turnover on down, so I don't think he got it. Nope, Wildcats take over. That is intercepted. He just slows down, not going to take any chances here. Midway through the fourth quarter, leading 13 to nothing. Yeah. 
the tackle for a loss. Number 52, I think, 52. Quarterback keep, he took a big hit at the end of that run. Let's see what the flag is all about. I believe that was an illegal block in the back on the offense. Yeah, illegal block in the back of number 18 of the offense, 10 yards, second down. Falls incomplete. the entire Connecticut State Wildcats defense to take him down. Another legal block in the back on the offense. <laughs> legal block in the back on number seven of the offense. Ten yards, repeat first down. Catch. We're down in eight. <laughs> 
And the Wildcats recover number 34. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's a nice shot of Maz, Mula, Santana, Washington, and Divine Jackson. And the sidelines there. That is complete. Coming up on two minutes left in the game. A little shovel pass, and that's going to be a touchdown as he waves to the defender who fell down. So Connecticut State Wildcats have a little bit of life left here. They are on the board for the first time in the game. It's now 13 to 6 with an extra point coming up. There's Divine Jackson, says, hey, Maz, Mula, Santana, Washington, I need you in there for this two-point conversion or extra point. Let's see what they're going to do. And they're going to go for two. It is a get to Maz, Mula, Santana, Washington. It's about a yard short. So the Wildcats are still one possession down. It's 13 to six with just under two minutes left until the end of the game. All right, Wildcats need to get an onside kick here. Here we go. I thought he kicked it out. I thought he kicked it out too. I think that's, I think that's Divine Jackson's argument. I think Divine Jackson has a case here. I think it was kicked out of bounds by the receiving team. I believe they picked up the flag. I believe they picked up the flag so there's no penalty. I think the Wildcats have two timeouts left. Sacred Heart will try to run the clock out. A first down should, will likely end the game. The Connecticut State Wildcats are going to do everything they can to try to get a turnover. Second down and eight. And 
and that might just about do it. That's a first down, and, and he just heard victory formation coming up. They may not even need to take a snap. We're going to put more time on the clock here. <laughs> Victory formation for Sacred Heart Club Football Pioneers. Wildcats call timeout. All right, another victory formation again. Oh, maybe not. And that's going to do it. That's your ball game. Sacred Heart Club Football Pioneers 13, Connecticut State Wildcats Junior College 6. I just missed the Gatorade shower, oh well.
Okay, they turned the scoreboard off. That's going to do it for me from Campus Field at Sacred Heart University in Fairfield, Connecticut on Saturday afternoon, September 23rd, 2023. Uh, Sacred Heart Club Football Pioneers 13, uh, Connecticut State Wildcats Junior College 6. I'm not sure what the Pioneers record is. I'll try to look that up and put that in the graphic. Uh, Divine Jackson, Morris Hilton Jr., the coaches, and Mike Rudovics uh, for the Wildcats. They fall to one and three. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Stay dry and get home safe.